Breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. Fayemi, the immediate past governor of Ekiti State, we reported to you, has been grilled by EFCC, that's the Economic and Financial Crime Commission. But guess what? He has blasted them that they are a barking dog with no teeth. In fact, the way they blast them, you know, say Fayemi is another Tinubu right hand man. Before they finish election, they say Tinubu don't win Ekiti State. So he's that kind of person. Okay, I mean, he's one of the people who stood when the southern governors, not just uh, whether APC, the whole southern governors came together and said, you know, after Buhari, presidency should move to the south. He was one of those who was not just in the forefront, but in the in the forwardest of front. Yes, he's that kind of person. And so far, I mean, has stood up to say, you know what? Nobody should threaten him with EFC, he said, because that is totally un unacceptable. So that's exactly what he said. He said the EFCC, nobody should take them seriously. They are just a group of backing dog. How can they invite him for questioning over money and how he handled money? Why is the governor of the why he was the governor of Ekiti State? And this guy has thoroughly and seriously washed down the EFCC. Welcome to Nigeria. That's what you experience when you know your friend become the president and you know that you are covered anyway my lovelies please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe let's get all the details as our very own brother the former governor of ekiti state ends the career of efcc don't forget that they are all the ones controlling efcc now you see why we need the right government in place even efcc self are being used you know let's get all the details The former governor of Ekiti State petition from Faceless Group, Fayemi, opens up on EFCC's invitation. The former governor of Ekiti State has opened up on his recent interaction by the Economic and Financial Crime Commission, EFCC. On Thursday, the cable reported that the ex-governor was at the zona command of the anti grief agency in Elori, Kwara State, the capital. The report said, Fayemi was being interrogated over alleged allegations of 4 billion naira misappropriation connected to handling of funds during his tenure as the governor. Reacting to the news in a statement on Friday, Ahmed Sajay, Fayemi's media aide, acknowledged that the former governor was invited to the office of the EFCC in a lorry regarding money laundry petition against him. He added that his principal engaged in fruitful discussions with the investigation before being allowed to depart after a few hours. Sojay, however, said Fayemi was grilled on, a, on various petition from a faceless group. The Economic and Financial Crime Commission should be careful how they invite people because if they are not careful, they will be dealt with. A face like so called group called, you know, AKT, Petronic, Petronic Collusion, that are, that, are stand, that are standing ready to cooperate fully with EFCC to investigate FIME, would like to address the concerns surrounding the invitation and subsequently visit of Dr. FIME Kayode to the Economic and Financial Crime Commission. The immediate past governor of Ikiti State and former chairman of the Nigerian Governors Forum to the Inlori Zona Office of the Economic and Financial Crime Commission has been has been on the news lately. Last month, Dr. Fayeme received an invitation from the Lorry Office of the EFCC regarding money laundry petition against him. It was during the height of the preparation of the change in, of government with many activities and programs lined up as part of the event. A key member of the APC, Dr. Fayemi, had already committed to playing important role at this event and his non-appearance would have impacted them significantly. Hence, he had to tell them to wait because it was not that important. Most of the allegations being instigated on him are from faceless people who are using the Economic and Financial Crime Commission. Dr. Fayemi fully notified EFCC of his willingness to cooperate but requested more time before he can appear before them. And he did. EFCC had no choice but to follow through. Uh, Fayemi has therefore called those who have petitioned him faceless and baseless people, saying they have nothing to prove against him.
So this is what is going on. This is what is happening. And every single person is really looking forward to, you know, what, you know, what can be done differently in order for Nigeria to age forward. There are lots of, you know, matters happening right now. And we really needed more from this administration. We need truth to become our watchword. But it doesn't feel very much like that. It feels like some Nigerians are trying their hardest best possible to ensure that they do everything humanly speaking possible and bring Nigeria to where they want it to be. The issue now is every single time there is need for some things to be done so that Nigeria can move forward. You can see that you can see that that the country needs, you know, it, we really need honest, sincere, we sincerely need honest people who can, you know, move this nation forward in terms of ensuring that the right things are done. In terms of ensuring that we navigate and move this nation from where it currently is right now. There are all kinds of matters being paraded out there. And the truth of the matter is, until we all align to the position of truth and say, you know what, enough is enough to those who are trying to manipulate the system, we may not be able to truly move forward. You know, a government comes in and is surrounded with all kinds of fools, thieves, robbers, and the government itself have allegations of, you know, corruption bordering all around. And the people who are surrounding the same government are of the same fold. So what are you expecting differently? How do you expect any form of difference to come in terms of what is going on right now? So these are some of the issues that we are being, you know, surrounded with. And Fire Me is saying, you know, these people are baseless. Nobody should pay attention to them. They dare invite him. Yeah, he will go at his time, you know, and um, he will answer them at when, you know, when it's most convenient. And these are some of the things we are currently experiencing. Well, Nigerians, you can see for yourself that um, it is time we begin to, you know, have a rethink. What sort of a nation are we? And do we know how people perceive us? Because it's not just about what you think about yourself. Yes, that's one level. But what do people think? As much as you don't give that the ultimate priority on how to drive your life, but it's important because you need to understand this so that you can correct some things. The reason there is a blind spot, and if you have critics, is that they're able to point that blind spot to you. You can't cover the whole perimeter, trust me, no matter how efficient you are. And that's why God did not make one man alone. He did not make you alone. You know, you need somebody, you need some other, some other persons to watch those spots you cannot see. And so when we neglect the importance of those who we have put to govern areas, see what happens. Leave us a comment. God bless. Bye for now.